My name is Kevin Heatley and uh, I'm a restoration ecologist. I make my living going across the country restoring damaged ecosystems, or should I say attempting to restore damaged ecosystems, because you never actually restore all the variables that are lost once the disturbance occurs. Now, what we're doing today is looking at a, a couple of examples of um, intact forest, uh, forest that's post-logging. Uh, about 100 years ago, 150 years ago, the logging boom came through and they basically cleared the landscape. And the forest regenerated, but it took over 100 years to get to the point we are now. This is not the same forest as would have been here during the early colonization period. This forest is a relic or an artifact of the disturbance that occurred. Uh, is it a valuable forest? Yes, it is. Does it have problems, however? Absolutely. But it is just a shadow of what was here before the logging uh, industry came through and unsustainably just cut everything down. Now, I don't want to indict the logging industry today because this forest can be managed sustainably so that you have a constant level of wood production, wood fiber, and all the associated uh, important benefits that the forest supplies. Things like fresh water, wildlife habitat, recreation, uh, carbon sequestration, storing that atmospheric carbon that everybody gets worried about for global warming, storing that into the, in the wood and in the well, forest soils. Uh, these are all benefits, ecosystem benefits that the forest supplies. Now we have a forest, as I said, that's about a hundred years post-logging recovery. Uh, that's a hundred years of equity, just as you put a deposit in the bank and you let it grow and get that interest. The same things happen with our forest. So a hundred years of equity we have built in this forest here in Pennsylvania. Um, and it's got this value that's inherent in it. Now what's happening, or what potentially could happen with the Marcella Shale development, given the distribution of these wells, we are going to have a fragmentation and a disturbance in this, in this forest that's going to have ecological consequences. It's going to have cascading impacts throughout the forest that's going to damage the very benefits that we're currently receiving from the forest.